Okay, so it's your turn to ask some questions, and we already have a burning question. So the question is about job resources, and if our panelists could talk about uh, places that they go uh, to find uh, information about jobs. Uh, um, there's, a, there's a really good one, workinculture.ca, um, and they have tons of stuff that goes up almost every day. From administrative work to artistic work, it's, it's a really good resource as well to use. It used to be better, though. They charge money now. <laughs> uh, Toronto Alliance for the Performance, uh, Performing Arts, ha TAPA, has a blog that they, they send out uh, postings almost daily. And there's almost always uh, different sorts of opportunities, jobs, internships, things like that on there. Um, I can honestly say a lot of a lot of my work has come from approaching people like you're saying approaching people that I've formerly been involved with in different ways and saying I'm looking for work or I'm looking for you know you know social networking even sometimes posting up on Facebook saying looking for a couple hours of administration work does anybody need help writing a grant or something and some things like that have, have absolutely come through. Yeah, for, uh, Dance Ontario obviously has everything there. Um, for commercial, obviously, if you have an agent, it's always better. You get the scoop sometimes for auditions. Um, even just on Facebook or online in general, looking for casting agencies, they often post commercial auditions there. Uh, word of mouth is a big one. So people need to know that you're looking mm -hmm. and you need. Yeah, you need to let them know that you're actively looking for, for stuff, connecting with people that are in the field. Some, like I've said before, sometimes I only get a phone call. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And that's just because people know what I do and what I want to do. So, I, I know about I know a few places. There's for, act, for actors, but I think it's worth checking out for dancers because sometimes, uh, sometimes they're looking for really, really specific people but the uh, equity, the Canadian Actors' Equity Association. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually have a, a newsletter that they send out. I think it's daily, usually with audition calls or if they're looking for, to, for hiring. Mm -hmm. um, Theatre Ontario is another place. You can actually go right there, and they have audition postings there all the time. And I think that if you, if you become a member, it's like 50 bucks. They'll send them to you or something. Um, and then if, you wanted, if you're just looking for places to submit work that you may be working on, um, three places that I usually check out is, there's a, there's a place called Akimbo. Do you guys know Akimbo? Sign up, go to, I think it's akimbo.ca. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I use them at the Summer Works. They use them just to advertise. So it's, it's like a paid advertising, but it's, it's really inexpensive and it's used primarily by artists. So I think once or twice a week I get a series of akimbos. And it's often for things like openings, but sometimes it's for calls for submissions. Um, but it's all, it's a wide range. There's another th website called Fado, and they have a mailing list. Uh, and, the, and they always send out places, uh, nationally, internationally, they're looking for calls for submissions. And instant coffee which is another, uh, another email list. I don't know the exact address, but if you put them in like Instant Coffee, Toronto mailing list in Google, you'll probably find it. And FADO is F-A-D-O. What does FADO stand for? Mm. Oh, it's, uh, I think it's perform, it's arts based, art, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, I have a very, very interesting one. Volunteer, and that's me putting on um, that's me putting on my like arts administration hat. Volunteer, I think if you seek out organizations to which you can volunteer through meeting someone at, at, at those organizations, you can tell them about what you do, and they, of course, be memorable. Literally, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm being very frank right now. It's about volunteering because I think it's important as artists, beyond the monetary factor of things, is that we have to give a little to get something. And I think if we volunteer through an organization, it's a great way to meet someone there, to understand, to communicate what you do, and so therefore have business cards. And you give someone your card, and you constantly say, this is what I do, you know, and it, it, can, it can mean many things for you. I, 
want to concur with that because that, that's what I did when I first moved to Toronto and I came out of school. I came to Toronto not knowing anybody in the dance community and I just started volunteering at stuff. And ironically, I think Series 808 was the first place I volunteered and then like four years later I was their administrator. <laughs> so it works. And also I did the same thing with CADA. When I was interested in getting involved with CADA, I volunteered to take minutes at board meetings. This was before there was an executive director and an administration uh, support beyond, I think, one day a week. And through that, I, just, I discovered that I actually wanted to see if I could sit on the board. And I've been on the board, I believe, for five years now. And that also has been a great opportunity to, to learn how to represent myself, how to negotiate contracts and all, all kinds of stuff like that. So I like volunteering is an incredible thing to do. And oftentimes you can get to see shows for free if you volunteer to do people's box office, which is great. <laughs> I just remembered one more, Mandy.com is a good one too. Mandy, yeah. M-A-N-D-Y dot com. Yeah. Um, there are also organizations like I've worked with Pathways and I think it's Pathways to the Arts. I can't remember the exact. But it's Pathways, I know, is the, the, in the, there's Dare Arts as well that do works in the school. I think it's also important to figure out in terms of what you want to do, if it's in school or if it's after school, especially on the community level, um, or if it's on the weekends, if it's recreational, leisure. Um, that's just you know, for your own investigation to see which areas you might best fit. Not that you will stay in that. I don't believe in being in a box. So, you know, not that you will, be, you will stay there, but it's as, as an introduction to um, an organization or a particular community to actually just find that particular area if it's after school, in school, or you know, on the weekends. Great. One more thing, sorry. Oh. I keep remembering as we go. <laughs> like Michael said, to being uh, subscribed to newsletter from either companies or things like that, you often get the auditions through that as well.